hello guys welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to install a TACX server in GNX3 so we can then configure um, triple eight and TACX and configure that using GNS3 so um, what we need to download first uh, we need to download this TACX GUI from this GNS3 marketplace so let's go ahead and do that go ahead and download it and after that is done, let's take a look at that. Okay, it's done. I also need to uh, download um, WebTerm. And this is another um, appliance that we need to download from GM GNS3, um, from the marketplace of GNS3. Um, so both of them are done. Okay, great. Um, what we need to do is go ahead to GNS3 and we need to drag the net. Okay, we need to run it with the VM. That's good. And then let's have a Ethernet switch, nothing fancy, just a switch. Um, and then we are going to connect this with this and this with this. Then after that, what we need to do is we need to import the appliances. The first one that I want to import is the TACAX GUI. So let's go ahead and do that, click next. Let's run it with the GNS VM, next and next. And now it's going to ask us for the file that is missing. Um, so it is a free file. So if you click on download, it should take you to a Google Drive. So you can just go ahead and download it. It's only 143 megabytes um, for that TACX server. Um, it might take a little bit of time. It depends of your speed. Um, so my internet speed is a little bit better now than before since I obtained my there we go so it's done I returned the Comcast router and got my own router thank god I finally did that I was just too lazy to do that but I finally did it okay so after that's that's downloaded what you have to do is um, oops I keep doing that um, we are going to go ahead and refresh and that should import that TACX GUI, as you can see, it found it. Now click next. And would you like to install the TACX GUI? Let's say yes. Click next, next. And here's something that you need to save because those are the credentials for the, um, so I'm going to use LeafPad. You can use Notepad if you have Windows device. Um, so this is the password for the MySQL. And also for the web interface, and for the SSH credentials, the database credentials, and the web interface, what we need is basically the web interface because that's what we are going to use. Um, so I want to save it to CCNS Security and just save it there as TACX GUI. You can save it wherever you want it, but make sure you save it because we are going to need it later. Okay, click on Finish, Apply, and now it is right here. Um, I want to configure this template. Uh, the name I just want to call it TACX. That's good. Um, let me see if I want to change that symbol. I want to, since it is a server, um, I want to put the server icon on it. This one right here. I don't think I have a server for yet. Yeah, I do. So I want to use this one then. Okay, and save it. And we're going to put it over here. And then after that is done, uh, we want to plug it in right here to this Ethernet. And then I want to start my TACAX GUI. We're going to fire this bad boy up. And I think I need to use VNC. I'm not. Um, let's see. Console mm, command line. Um, so, yeah, I think we need to use VNC. Let's go ahead and configure this. I think I have VNC installed as you have it. VNC viewer and that's not it's not working either um, so yeah that's not working um, let's go ahead and then um, configure telnet that's fine command line yeah, but that's not going anywhere either. GNS3. Let's 
go ahead and open double click on it something mm, let's go ahead and configure it again so it is different I did it from my Windows device and I use um, VNC but VNC is, doesn't seem like it is working actually let's go ahead and do VNC again uh, VNC and then let's do command line still not working let's go ahead and just turn it off stop it um, configure it. it says VNC okay let's go ahead and turn it back on because I do need to console yeah that's not okay now it's letting me in it just saying that it's in unencrypted it's just going to another okay here we go so we have a unencrypted connection that's fine um, so the login to the SSH I believe it needs to be root and password 1234 um, so let's go ahead and try that um, root for the user and password 1234 there we go so now we have access to um, this TACAX server and what I want to do is IF config because this is a Linux device and as you can see I have an IP address already configured because um, this device gets um, its IP address from the DHCP server and the DHCP server is running on the net so as you can see we have an IP address of 192.168.122.18 great so now what we want to do is we want to add the other appliance that we need um, and it's going to be with the VM virtual machine and what we need to do is we need to run it on the VM uh, VM list well cancel I don't want to do that that's not how I do it. I'm sorry for that uh, we need to add just cancel that we need to add and we need to import the appliance and we need to import the web term next 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 finish and it is installed let's go ahead and web term move it over here and this is going to pull from um, I believe it's going to pull from docker since I have docker installed if if you don't have it you just you can just find it online somewhere you can just google it and you can find that image and you can just import import the image the same way I did it with the TACX server and then that that should work for you if not if it's not working for you you can just leave me a comment on the uh, on this video and I can help you to get that image okay okay so for this one let's go ahead and plug it in and before we turn it on we want to config so let's go ahead and configure and we want to go to network configuration and what we need to do is we need to uncomment these two lines over here and then click on save and apply and okay and I think that should reboot the server but since it is stopped I think we need to just start this server um, so now it is up and running let's go ahead and double click on it and it's also going to open it with uh, VNC so you need to have VNC installed and as you can see um, we have Firefox and we should have access to the internet there we go we have access to the internet because we have configured the HTTP and if you go over here and go to the terminal if we want to get the IP address um, click on it again there we go IF config there we go our website is 192.168.122.27 okay so now what we need to do is we actually need to get the the IP address so we need to go to this GUI which is the GUI for the um, TACAX server um, and we need to go to that website and it is 192.168.122.18 and because we are going to this um, TACAX server over here and it's going to ask you if you want to the connection is not secure you can just click on advance and yep add an exemption confirm there we go so we are now into that TACAX server and what you need to do you need to log in and to log in you need to use TACA, TAC GUI which is a username and password ABC123 
snap okay paste um uh, i actually copy the uh password we need to stack tag gui and password abc one two three and you don't have to save it and there we go so we are inside the tagx server okay so on the next video we are going to configure another tagx server and we are going to have two tagx server that we are going to configure with triple a um so thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys um want to go ahead and follow me on twitter you can go ahead and follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video where i'm going to configure two tagx server thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye